The problem we're trying to solve with our design is overheating solar panels. Um, solar panels overheat quickly. Um, during some of our preliminary testing, when it was only 60 degrees Fahrenheit outside, the panel temperatures got up to approximately 124 degrees Fahrenheit, which provides a problem, um, mainly due to the fact that when solar panels start to overheat, the power output efficiency drops by quite a bit. Um, a great example of that is during some of our data collecting, we found a 9,000 watt system um, in a two-story home that was only generating 10% of what it could be in the month of August due to it overheating, which losing 90% of the power you can be generating is a big problem. Um, but how do we fix it? Uh, there are multiple ways that people are trying to look at it. Some of it are trying to change the semiconductor chemistry. Some are trying to change the panel design in general. Um, but for the scope of this project, we are just going to work on cooling the existing panels. Now, for cooling panels, uh, there are multiple methods, uh, both liquid, air, and you know anything in between or above. Um, but for the purpose of our design, we're going to go with water flow which is pretty much having water flow through a specific channel through a, a block of some form that will absorb heat away from whatever it's attaching to. For our design, uh, we went with an aluminum box that's going to be attached to the back of our solar panel that's filled with distilled water and also has copper tubing coiled within the box. Now, what happens is we have a temperature sensor that's attached to the solar panel that will tell our control board when the solar panel starts to get hot. Now, depending on how hot the solar panel is, it will the control board will send a specific voltage to our water pumps, which will start a certain water flow speed that goes within the copper tubing. Now, when water flows inside the copper tubing, it makes the copper tubing cold, which will then cool down the water in the box, which will cool down the box, which will cool down the solar panels. Um, and as a result of that, the heat will be absorbed from all that and will go to the water within the copper tubing. So to get rid of that heat, because we want it to consistently be cold, so the solar panel can still be cold, um, we put it through this heat exchanger that you can see in the top right image. Um, now, the way that this heat exchanger works is it has two layers. The top layer is just the water flowing through the copper tubing, which is a bonus because it makes our water within the copper tubing a closed loop system so no water is lost there. Now, the bottom half is going to be attached to some cold water source. Uh, and for an example, we attach it to, say, the cold tap of your water heater. That way, it extracts the heat from the water flowing through the copper and then you have preheated water going to your water heater so your water heater doesn't have to work as hard when heating it up to the whatever temperature you set it to. Um, for our design we got some really good results. Uh, we were able to cool our solar panel by 15 degrees within the first five minutes of cooling our system. Um, our system only costed $576. Um, and every bit of the control board uh, functioned as we designed it. It only sent a certain amount of voltage depending on how overheated the panel was, which, which set like a water flow speed. Um, and also the heat sink system that we have can be applicable to many different uh, solar panels due to our temperature coefficients being within around the average, which the average is 0.3 to 0.5. Um, looking back on our design, um, if we had a little more budget, we would like to make a custom milled heat sink. That way it can be watertight and we can also prevent uh, some of the corrosion that we had in our previous design. Um, but all in all, we think this is a pretty successful product. Uh, we'd like to do a little more designing, of course, as I previously stated, as well as, you know, would like to perform some market research and further testing, like testing when it's over 100 degrees, because we weren't able to do that. And also would like to test on a larger scale and like full uh, systems. Uh, thank you. And I hope you enjoyed our presentation.